Hey guys, it's Avery and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here Make sure you subscribe below First of all just because I think you guys would really enjoy my videos and secondly because I'm doing a big giveaway at 10,000 subscribers, which I'm actually super excited for. I'm planning out what I'm gonna give away. So make sure you're subscribed so you can be a part of that. And as you can see, I'm doing a What's on My iPhone. And this has been really, really requested ever since my last What's on My iPhone, which was a long time ago. It was like last summer, which doesn't seem like that long ago, but it was. I had like braces and my hair was short and stuff. And I had a different phone, because my I've had an iPhone 6 for almost a year, but I haven't done a What's on My iPhone video with it yet. So I decided to do that today because it's been super, super requested. So let's just get into the video. So the iPhone I have is just the iPhone 6, and I have it in gold because I think I just think it's really pretty. And the front is white, and that's not like dirt or anything, it's just a little dent in my screen cover. But anyways, my wallpaper is the same as what it was in my last video, which is a long time ago. But anyways, just this really pretty picture of New York, and I really like it. So first opening my phone to the main like home first page of apps. At the bottom I just have Snapchat, music, messages, and YouTube. And my Snapchat is at EveryKate with three E's. If you don't know already, so make sure you go add me on there. Let's post on our story. We'll say filming. And yeah, anyways, if you follow me on there, you know I follow all of you guys back. So next up on the first page, I just sort of have random apps, and then I have some important ones, but I have photos, settings, camera, safari. These are sort of the apps that come with Apple. I have calendar, mail, voice memos, weather, my contacts, clock, phone, FaceTime, iTunes store, app store, reminders. Then I have Gmail just so I can have like, I don't know, I just like how the Gmail sort of set up. And then I have videos, maps, notes, and I have the Bible. Um, and then I have iBooks, find my iPhone calculator. Then I have this folder called Who Cares, and it's sort of stuff that like I don't ever use, like Compass, Stocks, Game Center, Bitmoji, stuff like that. And then next up, I have this page of apps, and these are the apps that I use the most. So first of all, I have Instagram, and make sure you guys are all following me on Instagram. I'm close to 2,000 followers, and my Instagram is at AveryKate with three E's, as most of my social media is. And then next I have Twitter, and my Twitter is also at AveryKate with three E's. So make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter because I update you guys on most of my stuff on there and I ask you guys what videos I should film and stuff like that. Then I have Vine, which honestly I don't really use that much. So next I have Tumblr, and actually shockingly my Tumblr is not AveryKate with three E's. It is Avery-Kathleen, and I'll put all of these of course, in the description so you guys can follow me on all of my social medias. And yeah, that's just my Tumblr. Next, I have YouTube Studio, and there's a way I can just sort of edit my videos, like the descriptions and stuff, and then also post them and interact by replying to comments and stuff. So that's really nice. Then I have Pinterest, and I use this to just get like recipe ideas, video ideas, etc. And then of course, I have Netflix. Go to have Netflix. And then I have Yelp, and that is really helpful for if you're traveling or anything, you can just look up like restaurants near me and it'll find a bunch of restaurants near you. Next I have Sleep Cycle, and there's an alarm app, but it's actually really cool because basically you set the time you want to wake up, and then it'll say like between 8.20 and 8.50, like you can set a 30 minute time period, and it'll wake you up when you're most awake, so you'll wake up feeling really refreshed. Next I have Shutterfly, and there's, I have like a bunch of old pictures of me on there, so it's nice to be able to get to those. Then I have SoundCloud, and this is Avery Kate with three E's, as usual. And then I have Photo. I don't really know, it's like GIFs. And there's actually personal, so I don't have a public one yet. Maybe I'll make one if you guys want me to. Next I have Spotify, and my Spotify is, of course, Avery Kate with three E's. Pretty much all my social media is, and you're probably sick of me saying that, but yeah. Next I have Dream Days and there's a countdown app so I put a bunch of events and things in there and then it'll tell me how many days until them. I have like Christmas and like vacations and stuff. And then I have Visco and I just use this for editing my photos and I have a whole video on Instagram feeds and how I edit my photos so I'll put that in the description if you want to check it out. Next I have We Heart It and I honestly don't use it that much but it's just sort of like Tumblr. It has a bunch of photos and you can make collections and things like that. And next I have my folders of apps, and I have a school, health, shopping, and games, 
So the first one is School. And on here I just have Quizlet, which is a flashcard app. I have Grades, which is like, in, like I can see all my grades. And then I just have some Google apps like Sheets, Slides, Docs, and Translate. And then my next folder is Health. And in here I just have a bunch of like workout apps. My fitness probably can enter like what you eat and make sure you're getting enough nutrients and everything. Mind Body is an app that I use just to book like yoga classes and Pilates classes and such. Workouts is an app that has a bunch of different types of workouts and you can target different parts of the body. So that's really nice. And then I have Run Keeper, which I can track the distance and time of my runs on. And then I have Bunny Free, which is an app because I use cruelty free products. So there's an app where you can enter a company name and then it'll tell you if their products are tested on animals, if they have like a cruelty parent company, a parent company that tests on animals and such. And then I have Sweat with Kayla and I, I don't know, it's sort of hard for me to use this. And then next I have Shopping and in here I just have Starbucks, Wanello, and Ticketmaster and yeah, I just use Starbucks to pay for my drinks when I go there. And then finally I just have games. In here I have the Kendall and Kylie game which is super fun but I always forget to play it so I always lose fans. Then I have Sims which I actually haven't played for like two months. So I'm kind of worried about them. And then I have Neko at Sumi. I don't know how you pronounce this but basically you just like set out food and stuff and then a bunch of cats come so that's fun. And then I have Whale Trail and Circle and Circle is so frustrating and addicting so I'd recommend getting that. So basically that's just it that's on my iPhone. But anyways, make sure you like this video, give it a thumbs up down below, and let's see if we can get to 200 likes. And make sure you comment below or request for my next video, and hit that subscribe button to be part of the 10,000 subscriber giveaway. And that's it. I hope you all have a great day, and peace out. That's it, friend.